Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Thrifting with Tony. I'm Tony and this is Thrifting with Tony. This is our second video in this series on how to ship mugs. So the first video we taught you how to ship first class and so that will be up here. But this video I'm gonna teach you how to send two mugs in an $8, well it's currently $8 at the US Postal Service, um, mugs in this little bag. So what we're gonna need I use a seven by four by four box, three sheets of bubble wrap. You know, if you're a reseller, you'll have some spare cardboard laying around. And of course, this you can pick up at your post office for free or even have it delivered to your house. That's how I have it, by the bundle. So this is for free. You can get that at the US post office. And of course, some peanuts and some tape. So. Let's go ahead and get this started. The first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is put these mugs inside the box facing down. Okay, so this is how you're gonna wanna set them. So they look a little like this. And what we're wanting to do is protect the handles because that is the most sensitive part of the mug. So with your spare, you're just gonna wind these through the mug kind of like a S shape. That's how I usually do it. And then it will slide. This is gonna protect them from banging against each other. And then these, we can just split in half and tuck it right here just so it gives extra padding. And then we just loop it around the mug, kind of like a candy cane. Kind of like a candy cane around the handle. You see that? And then we just repeat the process on this side, we just tuck, and then we're gonna tuck it, make the candy cane, and stick it right there, and just wedge it. So then there's no movement, there's no shaking, these mugs aren't moving anywhere. So that's protecting the handles, and now there's an excess area here. That's where we're going to get our peanuts, and just, we're gonna fill in the voids. So there's a little bit over here in this corner. There's gonna be a little bit more in this corner. Let's just get it all together and packed. And then there's enough space to put peanuts on top of it as well. Boom, boom, boom. Da, da, da. All right, now, we're just gonna oops, we put a little bit too much. Oop, take a little bit out. All right, so this is how it's going to look. Take the excess out. Boom, you wanna keep it nice and tight. Now we're gonna get our tape dispenser. I'm gonna just go right around. Boop. Let's clear this. And then we'll do it once this way. Doom. Doom. And doom. Perfect. So then now we have our box. If we were to just send this box by itself to New York, it would be $11.69, plus the packing material and all that. But now by doing it this way that I'm about to show you, it's going to be less than that. It's going to be $8. $8. So that saves you, what, $3.69? If you have lots of orders, that all adds up. So this is where we bring in the bubble wrap. We're going to lay it out. Let me get that laid out for y'all. Stick the box at the end like this in the middle and we're just gonna roll. And we're gonna roll. And we're gonna roll. And sometimes I just put a little piece of tape here, you don't need to. And then at the end, go like this and fold. It makes it look nice and adds a little padding. And on this side, you fold, do the same thing. 
Ooh. And then that's what you end up with. You open up your little bag. And this should just go right in. Oh. A little knee action over here. Woo. There. So, if it was holiday season, I would definitely um, put some paper around the edges because the post office is a little bit more, um, I don't know, they handle it a little bit more roughly during the holiday season because they're trying to push out these packages. But during this time is my slow season, so I know that it's not gonna be too bad. So I'm just gonna close it as like this. Bend it over like this. And then, boop, you have your little package. And it's ready to go, so I'm gonna take this over here, slap my label on it, put it outside for the postman to get, and I'll be on my way. So that is a definite way to save some money on your shipping and just taking that box and putting it into a bag. That's all you have to do. Um, I will be coming out with some new videos with more tips and tricks about shipping and packing. So I wanna thank you for tuning in, and I hope you like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time and mucho, mucho amor. Thanks, guys. Bye. Thanks for thrifting with Tony. <laughs>